All right, so coach, uh, your first year at Metro State. Tell us why you came over here to Metro State. Uh, it's just uh, you know a good opportunity for me and my family to to uh, to kind of progress with some things that uh, that we want to get taken care of. All right, and so you're not new to the school. I mean, you're new to the school, but not to the RMAC. I mean, you spent a lot of time in the RMAC and talk about that and how that's going to transcend to an easy transition for you coaching against this conference. Yeah, I mean, I've spent my entire coaching career in the RMAC and. And I'm excited to uh, stay in the RMAC. I think it's a great conference um, from the top all the way down, administration-wise and everything. And it's it's a really good place to be. And uh, just talk, we'll talk about this team this year. A lot of new faces on the team, just a very few returners. Uh, just talk about you know the transition of going over to a team uh, that's very familiar with a lot of players that aren't familiar uh, going into a new season of, of that nature. Yeah, I think just with, with the you know turnover that they had and players and that it kind of maybe makes it a little bit easier because they don't know exactly what to expect and you know when we change some things and and that that uh, that we've done it you know it was kind of all new to them and and we weren't fighting a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, you know just past ways of doing things. How much is chemistry? Obviously, chemistry is a huge thing to winning games with so many new faces. How do you kind of make that transition into chemistry uh, as seamless as possible? Yeah, I, I think our chemistry is, is moving in the right direction. Um, we got a smaller roster this year, and, and I think that helps a ton with team chemistry. And, and um, I think they're all coming together pretty well. Uh, so you'll be battling RMAC opponents, but being here in Colorado, you're going to have to battle the elements as well. How do you kind of get the guys ready for that who aren't ready for uh, baseball or snow here in February? Yeah, we just try and put them in the situation as much as we can. We, When my coaches and I are trying to decide if we're in or out, um, we just say, would we play today? And if the answer is yes, then, then we come outside and practice. If not, they'll be shoveling, right? Yes. <laughs> Uh, and the one thing we have to ask here at the media is the RMAC rankings came out with their baseball uh, rankings. You guys are picked to finish fifth. Uh, just talk about what you, th you think in terms of placement in the RMAC rankings there, or do you just kind of throw them away and don't even think twice about them? Yeah, we just worry about uh, what we can control. That's just who we who we are and how we're going to go about it. And and um, there's there's some really good teams in this conference, and you know we look forward to getting on the field. So. So who are some of the guys you're going to look to today, uh, this year to uh, lead your team uh, into kind of going forward, maybe team captains if you've announced those yet? Yeah, our team captains are uh, Robbie Nichols, Ty Jacobs, and Evan Claus, and they're definitely our leaders, and they're the, they're the guys that we're going to look, look to, to take us forward. And maybe you could talk about Jacobs or, and Evans, maybe give us a little bit what they bring to the team this year. Yeah, um, Evan brings just, he's a real physical hitter, um, doubles home run type of guy. And Ty Jacobs just brings some versatility to us. Uh, he's good on the mound. He's good on the infield. We feel like we could play him all the way across the infield. He'd play a lot of positions for us, and, and um, we'll be able to kind of bounce him around. What about hard to expect too much with a new coach, so many new players, but what do you expect from this team this year? Uh, you know, we expect him to get out and compete and play hard and get after it. You know, that's, that's what we... We look for we look for disciplined baseball and and um, we'll just build on that and you know try and reach our goals that we have set. Fantastic, coach. Nice.